Hello students, how are you all doing? I'm sure you are doing good in your life and are happy studying and enjoying every moment of your student life. Now, in this video, I'm going to cover the chapter accounting for share capital. And I will be covering the most important sums which will help you to score the best in your exams. In board exams, it is tentatively expected to be asked for 17 marks. So this chapter is to be taken very seriously because expected marks are 17 from this chapter. So out of 80 marks, 17 marks will be from this chapter. So take this lecture very seriously, solve all the sums what I'm solving and do lots of extra practice. The first category of sums what I'll be covering will be to show the share capital in the balance sheet and in notes to accounts. So we'll be doing couple of sums to understand the concept and to revise the important sums. I have taken the sums from sample papers and past board exam papers to give you a complete overview of what type of sums are expected in the exams. So let's start with the sum. Atishyokti Limited Company was registered with an authorized capital of rupees 2 lakhs. Now authorized capital. So what is authorized capital? Authorized capital is the registered capital of the company and these number of shares which are part of authorized capital are the maximum number of shares a company can issue to general public because we are going to discuss share capital transaction for a public limited company so you all have to keep this in mind. So authorized capital is the registered or the nominal capital of the company and these number of shares which are part of authorized capital are the maximum number of shares which we can issue to general public. Now authorized capital is of rupees 20 lakh and divided into 2 lakh equity shares. So I'm marking it over here. 2 lakh equity share of rupees 10 each. Now 10 each is the face value or the basic value of the shares. Face value is that amount of equity share with which we will be building the capital of the company. Now this 10 rupees is payable 3 on application, 6 on allotment including premium. So any amount what we charge to general public for subscribing our shares more than the face value is known as the premium. So it's a 10 rupee share which adds in, in which we have to add 1 rupee premium. So total amount what we will be collecting from the general public per share will be rupees 11. But over here we are not collecting complete rupees 11 at one go. We are taking in different installment. So on application 3, 6 on allotment including premium. So here 6, rupees 6 is made up of two parts towards face value rupees 5 and towards premium rupees 1. So I'll write it over here. Five plus one. Now and balance on call. So towards rupees 10, 3 on application, 5 on allotment, so 3 and 5, 8 and balance is rupees 2 on call. Now the company offered 80,000 shares for public subscription. So company wants to issue 80,000 shares. All the money was duly called and received except allotment and call money on 5,000 shares held by Manish. So please underline this. And call money on 4,000 shares held by Alok. Manish shares were forfeited and out of these 3,000 were reissued. Now 
5,000 shares of Manish we are forfeiting, but we are reissuing only 3,000 shares. So please mark this. as fully paid up. Show share capital in the books of company, also prepare notes to accounts. Now, I have already made a format because I am doing this on Excel. You have to make this format in your answer sheet or in your notebook. Now, the format is very simple. It is of balance sheet as per Schedule 3 of Companies Act 2013. Now, over here, before we proceed, because there is calls in areas also. So we will be doing some working so that this process of preparing share capital in notes to accounts becomes simpler for us. So we'll go to working now. Workings are very important because they are part of your answers. Now working note one, I'll write the summary of the shares, what summary of the shares, what are there in the question. So authorized capital is built up of 2 lakh shares of rupees 10 each. Now issued capital. Now this company wants to give how many shares? 80,000 shares. So here this company wants to give 80,000 shares. So over here 80,000 shares of rupees 10 each. Now subscribed capital is going to be same 80,000 shares because all are subscribed of rupees 10 each. Now working note 2, here we will write the detail breakup of the face value and the premium. So on application it is rupees 3 per share, there is no premium, so zero premium on allotment face value. You can see the question. Always keep the question in front of you while you are solving a sum so that you can refer and do proper working and provide proper solution. So 5 plus 1 on allotment. 5 premium is rupees 1. So total 6 rupees we will take from the public or we will call from the public including 1 rupee premium. So 3 and 5, 8 but face value is 10 so balance is rupees now we have calls in areas over here. Now what are the calls in areas? All the money has been duly called and received except allotment and call money on 5000 shares held by Manish. So Manish for 5000 shares did not pay allotment and for the same 5000 shares did not pay the call money, Manish. Next, Alok. Alok did not pay the call money. So in front of call, I will mention 4,000 shares of Alok. Now your calls in areas will need to calculate for 4,000 shares, but not for the 5,000 shares held by Manish because in the presentation out of these 5,000 shares, 3,000 were already issued, 2,000 were already forfeited. So we'll see this separately, we'll deal it later on. Now, we will do one more working over here. Subscribed capital number of shares 80,000 less shares of Manish forfeited 
5,000 shares. So remaining 75,000 shares plus, so we'll add reissued. How many shares we reissued out of 5,000? Out of 5,000 shares, we reissued 3,000 shares. So total now comes to 78,000. So 78,000 are the shares which are fully paid up. Now, once again, I'll explain the concept. Total, there were 80,000 shares. Out of that, 5,000 shares were forfeited. So we are left with 75,000 shares. But then again, we reissued 3,000 shares. So again, those 3,000 shares have gone to the general public. And now total number of shares with public is 78,000. However, we also have calls in areas. So we have calls in areas for alloc that is 4000 shares. Now these 4000 shares are again to be removed from 78,000 because total now 78,000 shares with the public alloc did not pay the final call for his 4,000 shares. So we will find out how many shares are there with the public which are fully paid up. So that will be 74,000 shares. These 74,000 shares are fully paid up. Now we will be using this data, very important. So this concept goes this way. Once again, I'll explain. Subscribe capital is 80,000. Out of that 5,000 shares we forfeited, 3,000 shares we reissued. So with the public, we have 78,000 shares. Now out of the 78,000 shares, Alok, who was holding 4,000 shares, did not pay the final call. So we'll remove those 4,000 shares. So total fully paid up shares are 74,000. So what about remaining 6,000? 2,000 shares of Manish are yet to be reissued and 4,000 shares of Alok are to be forfeited and then they are to be reissued. But regarding that, no information is given in the question. So we now proceed ahead with the main format. Now, always remember, write proper heading. So balance sheet of Atishiyokti Limited will write extract as on, we don't know the date, so we leave it blank. So we will be writing the balance sheet heading first, that is equity and liabilities. Then we'll be writing the main heading, that is shareholders fund. And in shareholders fund, subheading will be share capital. Note number one. Now this amount will write from notes to accounts because right now we'll have to do all the calculations and also we'll keep this blank as of now. We go to notes to account first. This is the first notes to account we write share capital. Now, in share capital, we'll be writing different type of shares that is authorized, issued, subscribed, fully paid up, not fully paid up. We always start with authorized capital. Now in authorized capital, we already have done the working. Please refer the working over here. 2 lakh shares of rupees 10 each. 
so 2 lakh equity shares of rupees 10 each so 20 lakhs that's it next issued capital right in capital Now, issued capital, total how many shares? We have already done the working 80,000 shares of rupees 10 each. So, that comes to 8 lakhs. Again, that's it. Now, very important, subscribed capital. Now, subscribed capital, there are two parts. The first one is subscribed capital and fully paid up. do some marking over here now fully paid up we have already done in working note number three so we have 74,000 shares which are subscribed and are fully paid up so 74,000 shares equity shares of Rupees 10 each, 7 lakh 40,000. Subscribed capital, but not fully paid up. So I'll modify this. Now, this is interesting. How many shares are subscribed? and are with public but are not fully paid up so we have two defaulters one is manish and other is alok so shares of manish were forfeited and out of the forfeited shares 3000 were issued but shares of alok are not yet forfeited no information is given so they are still with alok so that is 4000 shares of rupees 10 each so 40,000 less calls in areas now 4,000 shares and did not pay rupees 2 per share so that comes to 8,000 outer column 32,000 so now we have to add them up but before that you also have to mention the third part of it that is share for feature account now we have shares worth 2000 lying with the company which are not yet issued to general public so the balance of that needs to be mentioned over here now share for feature account out of 5000 shares of manish 3000 are reissued so 2000 worth shares are lying with us for which we have not done any reissue so 2000 shares What is the amount forfeited now? We will forfeit that amount with the shareholder has already paid to the company or 
the amount which the company has received towards these shares. So, this 2000 shares of Manish, on that we did not receive the allotment and we did not receive the final call. So, let's check out in the working. You can see over here Manish did not pay for 5000 shares allotment and 5000 shares on call. So, how much has he paid? So, he has paid rupees 3 per share. So, over here 2000 shares into rupees 3 per share. So, that comes to rupees 6000. Now, we will do the total. So, total comes to 7,78,000. Now, this 7,78,000 is the amount which will go to the main balance sheet over here as share capital. So, here we'll write 7,78,000. So, this is how we'll be doing the sum. And this is the presentation what you are supposed to do. In case you have any confusion, any doubt, you can write the same in the comments below and I'll reply on those comments. I hope this sum is clear. If I do a recap, you need to understand what is authorized capital, what is issued and what is subscribed. See, subscribe capital has to be minimum 90% of the issued capital. If we are not getting subscription for minimum 90%, then we cannot go ahead with this public offering. Over here in this sum, then the tricky part was Manish, for which we forfeited and we reissued partial shares. And then for Alok, we did not forfeit, but there was calls in areas. So we have to do this working as shares, subscribe capital, but not fully paid up. I'll just highlight this for you guys. I hope you're clear with this sum. Now we'll be moving to one more sum. Now, over here, dear students, please dhyan rakhna ki question barabar padhna. Now, this is a bit tricky question, so please be careful while you read the question. Altor Limited was registered with an authorized capital of 4 crore divided into 25 lakh equity shares of 10 each, 10 is the face value, the basic value of the shares and 1,50,009% preference shares of rupees 100 each. So, 1,50,000 into 100, so 1 crore 50 lakh and 25 lakh equity shares into rupees 10. So, 2 crore 50 lakhs. So, total authorized capital is of rupees 4 crore. Now, the company issued. Now, out of 25 lakh equity shares, company issued 8 lakhs equity shares for public subscription at 20% premium. So, 10 is the face value, 20% premium is rupees 2 per share. So, total amount what we have to collect from public is rupees 12 per share. Payable, 3 on application, 7 on allotment including premium. So, we'll write over here 20%. So, 5 is towards the face value and rupees 2 plus 2 is towards the premium and balance on call. So, 3 on application, 5 on allotment, so 2 on call. Public has applied for 
10 lakh shares. Now, we want to issue only 8 lakh shares, but public has applied for 10 lakh shares. Excess application were sent letters of regret. So, for the 2 lakh shares worth of application we rejected and we refunded the money all the dues on allotment were received except on 15,000 shares held by Sanju so Sanju did not pay the allotment money another shareholder Rocky paid his call dues along with allotment on his holding of 25,000 shares you are required to prepare the balance sheet of the company as per Schedule 3 of the Companies Act. Now, Rocky paid his calls due along with allotment on his holding of 25,000 shares. Now, I'll discuss this in detail. Rocky has paid his call along with allotment money. So, this is calls in advance. Now, Rocky has paid this money in advance. Now, over here, you are required to prepare balance sheet and show share capital balance and also prepare notes to accounts. Now, my dear students, pe aapko kya dhyan dena hai? what you need to understand that over here, these shares are not fully paid up. Now, how did we know this? That's why I constantly tell you that read the question carefully. Student lose marks not because they are not able to write proper answer. It is because they have not understood the question properly. So, very important, read the question carefully. Otherwise, this sum comes in board exam for 4 marks and this simple sum if you are not able to appear properly, your 4 marks are gone out of 80 marks. So, please be careful. Now, over here, it is mentioned Rocky paid his calls dues along with allotment of his holding of 25,000 share. It means what? We have not yet made a call for the final call. Yane, abhi tak humne call amount sare shareholders se mangaya nahi hai. It means these shares are not fully paid up. They are partly paid up shares. Although we have a person whose name is Rocky and Rocky is filthy rich. So Rocky thought ki allotment ke baad again I'll have to do a transaction pays call separately. So, he paid this call money all together. And as per Companies Act, for calls in advance, the company will also pay him interest at the rate of 12%. So, over here, you have to be careful. These shares are not fully paid up. Now, I've already made the format. We will go to the working first. You students may pause the video and make the formats. Okay. Now, let's go one by one and make a summary of it first. Authorized. Capital. So, authorized capital is divided into two parts. So, 25 lakh equity shares. of rupees 10 each and 1 lakh 50,000 preference shares of rupees 100 each. Now, issued capital is 8 lakh equity shares of rupees 10 each. Now, subscription we received for 10 lakh shares, but we cannot issue more than the issued capital. So, again, this will be 8 lakh 
equity shares of rupees 10 each. Now, once this work is, is done, we know what is authorized, what is issued and what is subscribed. In this sum, no information is given about preference shares. So, we proceed. Application is 3 per share. Allotment is 5 plus 2. So, 7 rupees. And balance on call 2 rupees. But we are not calling this amount. So, over here, I'm marking this in red, already marked in red, so we know that call has not yet been made. The final call is not yet been made. So, it is a 10 rupee face value shares, but we have called up only rupees 8. Now, for calls in areas, Sanju did not pay the allotment money on 15,000 shares. So, this is what we are concerned for. For Rocky, we already received. You can see over here, Rocky has paid his allotment and he has also paid in advance. So, no calls in areas for Rocky. We'll make a summary working note 3 over here. So, application. We received on 10 lakh shares. Less reject. 2 lakh shares. So, net subscribed. and issued 8 lakh shares. Now we go to the main format, equity and liabilities, shareholders fund, share capital. Now we go to notes to accounts, already some of the columns have pre-filled up. So share capital, authorized capital. Now, in authorized capital, we have equity and we have preference. So, equity, we have 25 lakh equity shares of 10 each and 1 lakh 50,000 preference shares of rupees 100 each. So, same thing we have to write over here. Now, preference shares always has a preference over equity shares, but in notes to accounts, we give preference to equity shares. So, we write equity share first and then we write preference shares. We write the amount 2 crore 50 lakhs and 1 crore 50 lakhs. So, total 4 crores. Now, issued capital. Now, issued capital we already know, 8 lakh shares. Of 10 each. So, 80 lakhs. Subscribe capital. Now, over here in subscribe capital, subscribed and fully paid up. <coughs> now, subscribe and fully paid up is no shares are fully paid up right now. So, we leave this blank. But we have subscribed but not fully paid up. So, 8 lakh equity shares of now not rupees 10 but of rupees 8 called up. 
So this is the important point over here that out of rupees 10, we have called up only rupees 8. So 8 lakh into 8 is 64 lakhs less calls in areas. Now, this is a very important point in this sum. If you see calls in areas working over here, now 15,000 shares which were held by Sanju, he did not pay rupees 7 per share, but 7 per share includes 2 rupees premium as well. And we are doing working for notes to accounts for share capital and capital is always made with the face value of the shares. So over here for the portion of calls in areas, we will be doing 15,000 shares into now rupees 5 per share. So that comes to 75,000. This is a very important point over here, dear students, that for 15,000 shares, he actually did not pay to the company rupees 7. But we are doing this working for share capital. So we are, for calls in areas, we have to see the face value part of the share. So now the outer column 63 lakh 25,000. And total 63 lakhs 25,000. So, this is how we will be presenting the complete information. Now, don't forget to write the amount over here 63 lakh 25,000. This is most important. Don't forget to write this amount over here, otherwise, your answer is incomplete. Marks allocated for this format is 1 mark and marks allocated for notes to account is 3 marks as per the board website. So don't forget this amount. Go through this. If you have any doubt, difficulty, please write in the comment. I will help you out by replying to it. Okay. Now we have already seen two different types of sum. We will do one more sum today. In this lecture, and this is also a very typical sum. So please be careful while I read the question and you also keep on marking. Now, this material or these sums, what I'm solving on the board, I'll share the link for the sum. So you can take a printout of this and you can use this while solving the sums. Now, Saraswati Limited has an authorized capital of 10 lakh divided into equity shares. So authorized capital is of rupees 10 lakh divided into equity share of rupees 10 each. So 1 lakh equity share into rupees 10, it comes to 10 lakh. Subscribe and fully paid up share capital of the company was rupees 4 lakhs. So we have already issued and got a subscription for 40,000 shares. Now to meet its new financial requirement, the company issued further 20,000 equity shares of 10 each, which were payable as follows, 3 on application, 3 on allotment, 2 on first call, and 2 on second and final call. The issue was fully subscribed. The allotment money was payable on 1st May, first call on 1st August, and final call on 1st October. So all the calls are made it is rupees 10 fully called up x whom 10000 shares were allotted did not pay the allotment and call money y an allottee of 600 shares 
did not pay the two calls. So, did not pay the first call and the second, that is the final call and Z whom 400 shares were allotted did not pay the final call. Present the share capital in the balance sheet of the company as per Schedule 3 Part 1 of Companies Act 2013. Also prepare notes to accounts for the same. Now dear students, you can see lots of information is given over here. So working is going to play a very crucial role. Don't do all these things as a part of scribbling. Do systematic working so that you don't make any mistake. Now let's go to working note. Now over here, working note 1 is going to be a very simple working note. We have authorized capital of 1 lakh equity shares. So I'll write over here authorized capital. 1 lakh equity shares of rupees 10 each. Only equity shares, issued capital. Now, issued capital, be careful, 40,000 shares were already issued before and further we are issuing 20,000 equity shares. So, 60,000 of rupees 10 each and subscribed capital again 60,000 shares of rupees 10 each. Now we have application, we have allotment and here we have two calls. So I will add a column over here. First call on first call and we have on final call. So application on application money over here is 3, 3 on allotment and 2 on first call and 2 on final call. So 3 on application, 3 on allotment, 2 on first call, 2 on final call. So rupees 10 no premium. But we have various calls in areas. This working is going to be very important. Now, for calls in areas, X, who was allotted 1,000 shares, did not pay the allotment money and the calls. So we'll write over your 1,000 shares, 1,000 shares for the first call. And for the same 1,000 shares, he did not pay the final call. Now, you make wonder ki sir here it is just mentioned did not pay allotment and call money but we have already called up the final call and no information for four feature is given so it is rightfully assumed that for the 1000 shares also the final call was not given to the company by x now why for 600 shares did not pay the first and the final call. So did not pay two calls. So keep the question always in front of you so that you don't make mistake. 600 shares, 600 shares and Z. Now Z did not pay the final call on 400 shares allotted to him. Now this working is very important. I'll extend the working. So on allotment for 1000 shares, we did not get the allotment. On first call, on 600 shares, we did not get the allotment. And on final call for 2000 shares, we did not get the final call. So we'll also calculate the amount. Now 1000 shares, into 3 is rupees 3000, 1600 into 2 is 3200 and 2000 shares into 2 is 4000. So total calls in areas is 10,200. We'll use this amount in the notes to accounts. Now, working note 3 over here is not required. So we'll write the heading, balance sheet, of Saraswati Limited Extract as on 
Now, we can also write the date because dates are given over here. We can write as on 31st March 2022. Okay. And you can leave it blank. It's fine. Now, we write the balance sheet heading equity and liabilities. We write the main heading shareholders fund and the subheading share capital working note no, note number one. So in notes to accounts, first note is share capital. authorized capital now authorized capital working we have already done over here one lakh equity share of rupees 10 each so, so it comes to 10 lakhs issued capital now issued capital over here is 60,000. So 40,000 was previously issued and 20,000 we are issuing now. So over here we'll write 40,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each. 4 lakh. Now very important subscribed capital. Now in subscribed capital, first we'll write subscribed and fully paid up. Now we already know 40,000 worth of shares were already issued to people. Now it is already mentioned in the question subscribe and fully paid up share capital of the company was rupees 4 lakh. So we come over here. 40,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each, 4 lakhs. Subscribed but not fully paid up. Not fully paid up because there are calls in areas we have called up complete rupees 10, but we did not get some allotment, some first call, and some final call. So, over here, 20,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each, 2 lakh. less calls in areas working note number two now we go to working note number two once again over here for thousand shares we did not receive an allotment three thousand for sixteen hundred shares we did not receive first call and for two thousand shares we did not receive the final call so total ten thousand two hundred Outer column one lakh eighty nine thousand eight hundred. So total subscribe capital is five lakh eighty nine thousand eight hundred. Now we need we need to write the figure over here. Now, this sum is done, uh, go through the question, go through the workings, go through the notes to accounts. If you have any doubt, difficulty regarding any amount or any conceptual difficulty, then please mention it in the comment below. So, we are basically, we have completed today the 
format based questions where you are asked to make a note to account and show how share capital will be shown in the balance sheet. In the next lecture, I will be doing full fledged sums where we will be also writing the journal entries. So watch out for my next lecture which will be coming very soon. So thank you all for watching this video and I hope this helps you to score full four marks for such type of sums in your board exam. See you. Bye bye. Take care.